let's let's see how this plan goes because you guys seemed like you had one there. More like three. Yeah, looks can be deceiving. Oh, damn it! Sorry, guys. Um. Yeah. Then what do you guys want to do? Well, let's back the van up into the dock, and hop out, and right now go in and, and steal uh, some stuff at one o'clock. Yeah. Uh, Rot, is your van capable of changing its license plate? Uh, yes, it has a morphing license plate. And a spoof, too. Great. So, uh, I, I just want to ask, like, Bams, like, uh, does this spoof uh, chip actually is able to, like, uh, adapt to whatever I want? Or does it just, like, in the uh, Each spoof realm chip of... Each spoof chip is a specific thing. So okay, like, so it's like a, uh, right now it's like a van spoof chip, so it can be a lot of different vans. Well, like this van can be registered. To, it's kind of like a, kind of like a fake send for a, a vehicle if you want it to be like something specific. Um, it's a it's a little bit of a, a weird situation for them. Well, anyway, like since I don't have an option right now, we can just you know park the van next and see if anyone asks. I doubt it. Sure. That's a nice roll, Sue. That is that is definitely a roll. That's also a glitch. No, it's not. It's only two ones. Nope. No, no, it's not. Never mind. I'm sorry. That's all right. I don't you? I mean, don't Hex, you even you are invite a that thought? Man. <laughs> he just wants to see someone else glitch. <laughs> I want to see somebody else critically glitch. I'm sorry. I can't be the only one to do that. It's the only way he can feel. Give it time, Hex. It'll happen. <laughs> don't forget to roll your drain, sir. Yeah, I'm working on it. All right. So if it's any consolation. Any glitch I get on a social roll is automatically upgraded to a critical glitch. Yeah. So it's a better chance of you seeing it. <laughs> Why is that? One of his qualities. Mm. Um, so one success on increased charisma means I would buff my charisma by one, right? Mm hmm. Uh, so I don't really want to sustain that. Okay. Um, that sounded so sad. You are free Can to I just drop keep that. Sir. Can I just keep like casting it until I get a result I like? As long as you're die? willing to soak drain each time. Yeah. Sure. So you can kind of just weigh those options. There, that's what I wanted. Alright. You've already taken one stun, so let's see how the second drain goes. Have I? Is not increased attribute based the uh, force. Force minus three. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought it was, I thought it was force for some reason. Uh, no, I I only have to do like two two hits on resist drain. Awesome. So n now I have a question. Mm -hmm. What is my charisma right now? Whatever your charisma is plus four. Sweet. Is it like plus four, or isn't like he get needs to get four to increase four by one or something? No, each hit is a plus one. Does nice. Does he use that new charisma for the soak, or does it all happen simultaneously? I I usually let people get away with it just because like it's usually not that big of a deal. Okay. Uh, it looks like I would have made it either way, but I yeah. like having the extra one. Um, so I'm gonna put that in my uh. My thing that I bought. Oh, this is standing focus. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, now I could probably lie kind of okay if we need to meet you. Yep. If you can believe that I've said that and tell the truth. <sighs> Mind explosion. Okay, so... What are we doing? We're getting... Uh, Rot, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Sue to hold up, uh, Hex while she hacks, and then Dante and I sneakity-sneak in. 
More or less, yeah. Okay. At least is... that's my thought. Again, mm -hmm. open to comments, criticism, and modifications. I mean, if How we can knock it out in an evening. Sorry, what was that? How high does hex need to be? Uh, if you're going to a maglock keypad, four feet or so up? Or not, like, in the air. He can lean on it, really. Oh, okay. I thought... <laughs> yeah. Alright. <laughs> if you want to boost him up so he can hold a camera, that's a little different. I thought yeah. my height was coming into play here. I didn't realize it was, I was just being a pair of hands. Okay. You are strength five and capable of dealing with anyone who happens upon you. Oh, Plus, nice. you're mostly about to talk. All right, let's do this. All right, so plan is Rot drives car around back. Everybody piles out, guns loaded, shoots the place up, kicks in the door, and steals everything. Sure. Oh yeah, we launch ro uh, rockets and stuff. Yeah, sure. explosions. You guys have to roll to not look at them. It's a composure thing. <laughs> If you fail, you're not cool. Exactly. So, like, if my character's female, does that give me a bonus to not look at them? I don't... Uh, I, don't I don't get it. I, I think being cool is, like, not a gender thing. What's, um, what's composure? <laughs> Charisma plus willpower. Yay, something I'm good at. <laughs> <laughs> so, um... Suck it, nerd. After pulling up out back, I'm not really sure... What your what your plan actually is? Because I know it's not actually a rocket launcher and shoot the place up. That'd be fun. But we don't have rocket launchers on hand, so probably not. Uh, what we're pro correct me if I'm wrong, Dante, but we're just going to have hex open doors and shut down cameras for us. We sneak into the morgue, take the body, and drive away. Correct. If everything goes smoothly. Well, I'm speaking in ideals, so you know. Yeah. Uh, just in case wrong? it's important, I would like to uh, say that my uh, Horizons Cube are flying uh, around the place, swarmed, and looking around, seeing if they can find anyone, you know, just as a sort of a warning uh, perimeter. Sure, you got them on the outside looking around. Can we use them to block the cameras for a minute or two until we get up and get access to the host? You know, can I stick them in the face of the camera? Yeah. I, you could certainly try that. Hopefully Rot doesn't so... have like, a property of Rot, you know, label on that. <laughs> yeah, well, I have... No, I only have like one, two, or three because that's their names, so no. No. Do you still have the signature? Uh, quality? Uh, yes. And uh, <laughs> that's something I want to talk to Bams about, but not with the drones now. Yeah, I think you should have Ra engraved on the butt of some of your drones and your signatures flying them in front of the camera. Because that would be fun. <laughs> I must consider that now, unfortunately. Or like they're gra uh, they have thing one, thing two, and thing three on them. Nice. Susical reference. Okay, so uh, if I you may just to... quickly jump into one of the drones and block the camera that's looking uh, sure. the... You want to go ahead and give a, a pilot test to get your big old drone butt up in front of its face? So oh. that's still a pilot, so that's an 11 again, if I'm jumped in. Do you guys think that's a smart idea for now? As I mean, on our level of smart, yes. It's not horrible yet. I'm sure Bamps will make it happen, but it's not horrible yet. Alright, so he's basically just going to obscure the camera for long enough for us to get up onto the loading dock and get Hex to touch whatever electronics he can. Do you guys want to roll sneaking? Sure. Um, famous last words, maybe? I mean, you guys could not sneak, and you guys could just slow-mo walk, but, you know... That might have other consequences. <laughs> what do you roll with slow mo walk? Nothing. You just you just slow mo walk. You may roll intimidation to look like a badass, but you know that's optional. You're gonna remember that. 
That's not the same thing you roll to walk away from the explosion without looking? It seems no, like no. it should be. That is, that is most assuredly not the same thing. So Hex falls into a dumpster? I mean, I was kind of hoping for a glitch or a critical glitch so that that could totally happen, you know. But I didn't even glitch or critically glitch. I know. I'm, I'm just not really sneaky. I'm just disappointed in you because you didn't you didn't screw it up enough. I am going to uh, boost my agility for this. Okay. As a thing for the future, long-term agility-related things are not going to benefit from agility boost. This is not yeah, a long-term thing. Okay. I just yeah. know that last time you did some agility boosty stuff, and I don't really remember what you did, but... Yeah, one second. What kind of long-term agility things? So, agility boost lasts, I think it's like a combat turn per hit you get. So that's probably no more than 12 okay. seconds most times. If so if something is going to take you significantly longer than 12 seconds, like if you wanted to sneak through the entirety of... Like sneaking from the, the back door downstairs is going to take you longer than what your agility boost is going to last. Okay. But, you know, pulling the car up, popping out, and like, roadie running up to the, the back door is uh, is real quick. Um, that was my bad. If I uh, learned the spell I got to one increase, hit. could I put it on him and it would last longer? If you did the, if you did the what? If if I so I have I have increased charisma, but if I wanted to increase agility, that would have to be a, a different spell, right? Correct. Yes. So if I if I learn that spell and then put it on him, does that only last twelve seconds? No, that lasts for as long as you want to sustain the spell. Oh, okay. It, the agility so boost talking, thing is like a. Um, it's a specific adept thing. Yeah, it's an it's an adept power that lasts like it lasts real short term, but it's kind of not a. Um, it's not a big drain on their resources because it doesn't cause okay. that much actual drain. But it's the kind of thing that since since it has such a short uptime, you would have to keep boosting and dropping and boosting and dropping and boosting and dropping, which makes for when you're, you know, trying to sneak across an open field, um, yeah, it makes it really awkward to calculate your dice pull in there. So Plus it's, you'd have it's to more deal the with thing the where, like, when he pulls out a gun, he goes into, like, bullet time mode or whatever. Kind of. Okay. All right. Thanks. Yep. Uh, then, okay, there's your sneaky sneaky. All right. So, um, who rolled? Re Dante, you will notice and probably wince a little bit as, uh, Hex is kind of loud, which is weird because she's not a a large person, but it's making a, a decent amount of noise. Hey, she's so always get... I mean, they, they got three. I'm alright. They got three other sneakies. Oh, but, that was agility boost. That wasn't a sneak. Yep. I'm sorry. You are, uh, probably stacked up on the door. <laughs> alright. Uh, what do we have for security getting into this? The door Did is, someone uh, ring a lock quick or something? No? Oh, damn it. Um, drain is willpower, uh, resisting drain is willpower plus magic, right? Willpower plus body. Body, okay. For security, you have like a, a camera that is currently being body blocked. There is a a maglock boopy pad there to, uh, to be opened. Um, there's a doorknob. The door itself is like a solid with one of those little like face-sized glass things so that you can see people on the other side coming in and out. You can see through it um, into the... Damn. Um, okay, so I, I guess I... I feel like you calculated that incorrectly, Jet. My body is nine. My willpower is four. How is your body nine? I made that change. <laughs> oh. I apparently didn't pay any attention to that. My bad. <laughs> All right. What change? I mean, how? Do, how I want a body like that. When I uh, re <laughs> when I did the rebuild. <laughs> no, it's fine. I just, <clears throat> I guess, of the things I looked at on the rebuild, it was that was not something that I paid attention to. It's like, oh, damn. 
It's a big he's, body. He's orc. an orc, right? Good. Yeah. Three. Jet has a oh. really good body. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so I, I guess I will um, gesture at um, Hex then. Um, may I? Kind of nod at the maglock. First, I'm going to try the doorknob, just to make sure. The door is locked. Okay. Right, I so like what though. is going to uh, go ahead and grab the keypad and, you know, nod and go for the hacking thing. All right. I'll place my uh, hand on her back and prop Smush her, her up. face into the wall to hold her there. I well, that's one way. Just to try and put a mark on the device. Hopefully I did all right. You now, have... would we notice uh, any, like, Technomancer stuff, or do hackers do it the same way? I mean, hackers can do it the same way. It kind of depends yeah. upon um, so... what they have as far as gear, and it depends a bit upon how much you know about the Technomancer yeah. bullshit. Do you have, like, here... a computers or hacking or any kind of character knowledge that you might wish to roll here? Uh, I'm just going to check, and you keep going on. Sure. You have a mark on the uh, the keypad, and as association, the host. And so... Hex, I suggest that you get back in the van now that you have the mark on the host. Uh, that is a thing you could do. So are you saying that like she could theoretically have an implanted comm link and you know, be able to do it that way without being a technomancer? Yes, there is a. But um, it would still, it would still look like a regular human being touching an electronic thing and magically popping it open. Um, one of the things you can get for a cyberdeck is a uh, an induction module, which kind of lets nice. you just lean the, put the pad up like the cyberdeck up against the thing and get a direct connection to it. Mm -hmm. Um, so maybe she has something like that installed. You, you don't right. know. Okay, You're a mage. You can sense her. You I can, thought she was. You can uh, do this stuff, and I'm a technomancer. That is I didn't realize she things. was hiding it from us. Yes, she she was, and it's actually kind of hard to spot a technomancer. It's like six successes, if I remember correctly, or more, or five. It would be five. Is the uh, the essential so, you need? So so does, it's not exactly does super easy. That, uh, does the fact that I'm touching her right now help? No. That's okay. Kind of creepy, uh, though. Is, it, uh, is it like a knowledge skill or my regular skill uh, with computers, for example? Uh, how many dice do you have in computers? Uh, nine. Yeah, you could you could roll like a computer thing, and it would be a pretty high threshold because like you're just smart, yeah, sure, and you're not too good with computers. Okay. I mean, I am like. A little bit. <laughs> we'll see what the dice have to say. He's smarter than the average bear. I didn't. I didn't get six. No, you, you certainly didn't. Yep. No. This, no. She, no. She's doing hacker stuff. That's why. You oh, hack her great! And, uh, Way to go, hacker hacks! Just go with it and hack the <laughs> hacking hack. Okay, so put the mark on there. Yep, you have a mark so on the uh, on the pad and on the host. Okay. Now I need spook command to get it to open, right? Yep, that'll that'll get you an open. Wait, 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 wait. No, I need to do static fail. Right. Static veil only oh. prevents your your overtime Overwatch, which is like a fifteen minutes thing. So, okay, so I don't have to do this immediately. I can still do this and then get in the van first. You have, to your knowledge, about fourteen minutes before you need to worry about that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and open the door, then I guess, and then I'll go back to the van. Sure, go ahead and roll your uh, your spoofy. Alright, you 
hear a kathunk as the uh the Thank door you, Bams. firmly is unlocked. Thank you, Bams. For what? The kathunk? Uh, no, the one success. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah. Everyone's so unlocked. you uh may wanna get back in the van. The less people we got out here, the less visible we are. Well, does she, is her, are her rolls going to get harder if she doesn't maintain contact? If she goes into the host, they will be the same difficulty as they currently are. Uh, because uh, once inside the host, you have a direct connection to everything in there. Okay, okay. can she go into the host? Yeah, she has a mark on it. Great. Sweet. So, like, I'm going to go AR and be like, okay, I'll wait it out in the van. And go climb into my seat in the van. Sure. And then go to sleep. Do you want to, All right, uh, do you want to roll me one more sneaking roll to get back to the van? I will well, let go. If we uh, freeze frame the camera, we'll move the bugs and free freeze the camera. You might not have to worry about sneaking. Um, do you guys want me to throw up an illusion of something right here? Would that help? Uh, the illusion is a pretty tough spell. I mean, we don't want you to be drained too quickly. Good old Hex. Nice and consistent. <laughs> Yay! Sue, could you next time just pick up Hex and sneakily carry her to the van? <laughs> um, <laughs> is that something Hex I... would like happen? Just manhandled think... like that? Three, uh... <laughs> Three hits on my sneaking roll was pretty good outcome for me. I don't know what kind of malice I would have for carrying a human being. Uh, probably a significant amount. So Hex has got. I guess back I could put her the, uh, back to the thing, the, tr the van. I guess if I could put her on my shoulders. Oh, she's already. Back um, That's fine. Okay, let's let's drop the sneaking and and you guys just get inside. Uh, Bam, can what's I... with the ever filling pie chart? Don't worry about it. That's a clock. Okay. Let's do uh, this. Then. Can I, uh, guys? Do you think I should send with you my uh, smoke screen drone? It's not very quick, but it can follow you around. And if if push comes to shove, it can make a huge cloud of smoke. Hey, well, you're all... speaking of that, Biggest how often do people come is... out here for a smoke break? Yeah, I think the biggest thing we need right now is speed. Yeah. What we need and go. You can carry the drone. <laughs> I'm just going to walk in the door. Yeah. Okay. So, it's the three of you guys going inside, the other two of you guys staying outside? Three? Uh, I don't know whether that's Sue. There was talk on Sue going with you. Sue staying in the car. I don't know. I would say Sue going back in the car is probably the best option, right? Since he's like big and visible. Yeah. I mean, a nine-body orc is pretty big too. He's just big in a yeah, but I'm. Fashion. I've I've got a fairly solid set of ranks and sneak. Yep. Yeah, I've only got eight, so that's what like. Two successes on average. Maybe I should hang back and cover yep. the. Expo. I just need to know where you got where you guys are going to be, in case you know things go horribly wrong. All right, so I'm going to go hang out with Hex, I guess, right. um, and kind of check out the parking lot. Sure. If you could be on astral uh, observation, yeah. that'd be yeah, great. Yeah, my my drones are looking normal way, so you check astral. Yeah. The bugs can probably leave the camera now if Hex can work some magic with it. Yeah, I jump out of the drone and now just, you know, just chill. Sure. So you guys uh, are inside the little, like, locked cage biohazard room. And, uh, okay. What would you like to do? I, I gave you guys the, the you know, the mental uh, uh, directions. Or just a map? Yeah, just just the crudely drawn map will work. Um, In, like, Matrix paint? <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, you could make an arrow or something. Yeah, no, it's the, you guys know where you're going. It's just a matter of getting there now. 
Hex, can you take care of the cameras for us? I'm going to try and take care of the cameras. Is that spoof command? What are you trying to do to the camera? Okay, so like... I'm trying to like loop them over like a calm, static, you know, there's nothing going on out here kind of like image. Sure. So like looping over. Looping cameras is an edit file action. Edit file. And uh, I am going to be uh, running in silent mode on my comm link. Yeah, same. Um, you will need to get a mark on the cameras. So I'm going to need another hacky roll from you. Uh, so I need to do hack on the fly first, right? Or brute force. It's up to you. No, no, no. So far we're doing this quiet. I'm <laughs> keeping quiet. Man, all of my ideas are good ideas. Yay, four successes. That's not a horrible roll. Nice. Okay, now I need to do the edit file roll, right? Yep. Let's see. No, I didn't have specialization in five. I don't think I have any specializations in an edit file. Yeah, right there. Yeah, no, I'm just trying to see what I have a specialization in. Apparently, it didn't look like I have a specialization in anything. Uh, basic math then. He's just you up. Math. Yeah, it, it's hard basic math. No, but the thing was asking me, do you have a specialization? I'm like, I don't think I have a specialization. Oh, that's right, because you're using the the goofy rolly button thingies. Yeah, I swear it rolls worse for me, but I just like the little cutout thing because it looks cool and neat. The fancy box. Mm-hmm. I'm easy to impress. Well, I don't know how to feel about that. <laughs> Bams isn't mad, he's just disappointed. <laughs> I mean, we don't know who you are anymore. We can just, you know, we look at you and you change. Oh! Okay. Dante does that too, it's okay. <laughs> As a note, in the future, like um, edit file is the thing that you have to do once per combat turn. Like if you guys get into combat, one of your actions is going to have to be to edit file to keep your people out of the camera. But rather than making you roll like sixty times for the time it's going to take to get down there, I'm just going to not bother with that. Okay, I get you. But like if a uh, if combat were to break out, then. Unless you want your friend showing up clean shaven and with a smile. Which is not going to happen. Yeah, I can't imagine why that would be a bad thing to happen. Well, he's not going to be clean shaven. I mean, it's around midnight. I'm pretty sure we all have, you, you know, have five o'clock. Yeah. Um, do you. You guys are. Or Hex tells you guys that you have the cameras taken care of. You guys are still yes. in the biohazard room. So, I need to open the door, right? Would be helpful. There's another secure door here? Yeah, yeah there's another booper on the maglock. Okay. Do I need to put a mark on it, or do I just spoof? No, you can just spoof. Because spoof requires oh. marks on, like, the, the owner thing. Not snoop, spoof. Dante, how do you want to uh, run this with uh, just sneaking or? No, I'm just going to strut. Okay. Someone happens stop. upon you sneaking. There. What are you doing? There, I that? just wanted to know how we're doing this. Is drain resist for technos? What is that? I mean, what, what attribute is fade resist? Willpower plus resonance, I think? Correct. Yes. Oh, okay. So Unless increased willpower power might be that could be useful for me and for Hex. It's something to consider down the line. Um, so you guys are just do deckers deal with that or just technos? Just technos. 
Okay, so I don't know that you have... I don't know that about you yet. Willpower is also useful for resisting biofeedback. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you guys are just going to strut down the hallway? Yep. Yeah. Do you guys want to like roll some, uh, some etiquette or sneaking, or do you just want to walk? Um, Bam, oh, did you just you look crit like you glitch know something? Going. No, it's going to be greater than half. That is half. Um... Now, if we are, if we're just walking, then sneaking is out, right? It's kind of up to you guys now. Like, you could just walk like your normal people and that kind of stuff. If you're trying to put on airs of like, no, I, I totally know what I'm doing here. You know, you don't have the wandering eyes of somebody who is shifty and looking around like they don't belong. That would be kind of like an etiquette if you're like sliding up to the corner and just poking like your your head around looking very carefully. Um <laughs> so I least. think that is the right idea. Nice. So Dante acting like he belongs. They I own this hospital. A job as a nurse. <laughs> Sorry, I missed you in there. I was having a coughing thing. I just said one sec. Yeah. As I roll mine. I mean, that's not bad. Yeah, I mean, if I'm uh, acting like, you know, Dante is my boss. Yeah, no. It, uh, plus, it's only going to matter if you run into people. Yep. Or if you get yeah. spotted on the cameras. Or spotted by people. <clears throat> but for so, yeah. Or people with cameras. Yeah. So elevator? Yep, just walking to the elevator. Yep, you guys have arrived at said elevator. You gonna uh, you gonna push the button, or you guys wanna do something else crazy? Just push the button. It doesn't look like a special button, does it? No fingerprint scanners. No, it looks like a just looks like a service elevator. Yeah, just gonna push the button. Sure. Um, a second or two will go by, and then it'll be a bing, and the uh, the door will open, and you guys can get inside. <clears throat> Outside, you guys, uh, I presume, are parked in a actual parking spot out there. Rot. Uh, yeah, sort of. I mean, like, you could uh, be hanging out just in the middle of the street in the, the parking center. Yes, I would be sort of. Uh, no, there's like no inconspicuous places near the place where they got, got in. There's like an so employee guess... parking spot that you could be parked in. Or you could be like parked over by where the uh, the deliveries and stuff are delivered, that kind of thing. Usually at a loading dock, there's parking places for service personnel who don't actually need the loading dock, but are going in through the service entrance. Yeah, I think I would like park somewhere there and you know dark the glass so there's you, you don't see that someone is inside. Of course. No, dark, not the correct word, like dim the glass or something. I know what you mean. So you guys are going to notice that the security patrol car is going to go by you. You know, it just so they roll my car sneaking. <laughs> no, you guys are parked. You guys aren't moving. Okay. But you know, it's uh, it has driven by. Okay, can I send one of my uh, cubes to sort of like uh, in one way? Uh, look out for it, so when it's coming back the same way, I can maybe sure. try to move. Do you want it to follow the the van? The... I don't know if it can. The the horizon uh, cube is kind of slow. It flies. It has a like a speed two flying vehicle is different than a speed two ground vehicle. So you can probably keep up with it because it's not like it's slow rolling through the parking lot. It's very obviously a security thing looking around for stuff. Okay, also, so yeah, I can like send like two after after the flying vehicle. Two being the name of the drone, so you know. Yep. Uh, do you want to go ahead and roll your vehicles? Um, your drone's autopilot sneaking then. And we'll see. Uh, yeah, sure. 
So I'm getting on that, and you can like continue stuff. Sure. Uh, if memory serves, you guys do have victory needles. They are those uh, those hits of bliss that I don't think we technically addressed what you guys were going to do with. But. Does anybody have like medicine knowledge or biotech knowledge? I have like first aid. All right, that probably wouldn't do it. Corpses are sadly past the time for first aid, I would think. Yeah. So, like the, so, so there's like a last aid skill. <laughs> yeah, it involves. A uh, that's religion. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I was just wondering if we uh, could figure out like how they slip the tags into a body. My my brain tells me like a small tag with a syringe and like some saline, but uh does anybody have an appropriate knowledge skill? Mm. Is he cut out for everybody else or just me? I think just you. Yeah. Does anybody have any knowledge skill that would tell you a little bit about how these guys are uh, these guys are tagged, and Rot, are you comfortable with that level of success? Uh, no. I'm gonna edge that. I don't. I don't have anything. Okay. Nor do I. We'll go ahead with your edge as you guys are riding the uh, the elevator down. Really. Okay. Um, you guys are riding the elevator down. Uh, it's nice and lit inside the elevator. The doors will open on the basement floor, uh, and the lights will slowly start turning up from darkness. There'll be like a uh, a low light, so it's not immediately like blinding you. But after a couple of moments, they'll come up to normal brightness down there. Uh. Hex, can you pop the lock on the corpsicle storage? Corpsicle storage? That's um, in character, by the way. Maybe. Spoof command or hack, uh, hack on the fly? Sue, what are you sensing? Oh, I'm just uh, doing, like, Overwatch out in the parking lot. I'm just Sure. Figured I would roll every so often. No, that's fine. Are you sticking your head outside the window because you can't, or are you like astrally projecting or anything? Can I not just roll the window down? I mean, sure. If you want to have the window rolled down, that's fine. There is a security vehicle walking, you know, riding outside, so I don't know. Uh, so the the astral here is actually rather boring. Um. You don't see any, like, spirits or wards or anything crazy going on out here. There's a decent amount of foliage just kind of, like, hanging about. Because, you know, they like to do some nice landscaping. You know, they gotta make it look good. Um, Which means I can't see through, like, I can't see through trees, right? Yeah, you can't see through living stuff. You can't see through walls, either. Okay. So, um, nothing super exciting going on out here at the moment. Okay. Um... But yeah, you guys want Hex to pop the door downstairs, or you guys yeah. pop? Okay. Uh, Hex, you may you may spoof my door again. Wait. You made that sound almost sexual. Mm. <laughs> Either that or it's the new show by Exhibit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh! Hey, Hex. <laughs> what? Are you uh, are you comfortable with that level of success? <laughs> Good grief, no. Okay. I don't think any of us are. I'm pretty comfortable with it. I'm alright. Oh, no. And I'm more comfortable with three successes. Oh, well, you have to be. I mean, technically, I would allow them to burn edge on this 
if he wanted, you know, I would uh, I would accept his offering to warm my table. <laughs> Bad news for you, Hex. You have oh, been, did it see? You have been marked, and downstairs in the uh, the basement, we will see that a uh, the little red light on the on the door is still red as you guys are like hex pop the door and it just it flickers for a moment but it's still red okay um while hex is getting ready to i'm assuming fight security uh can i take out my bug uh scanner and run it over the gurney Sure. Do you want to roll like a uh, electronic warfare or something? To uh... if I don't have the skill, would I just use the scanner's rating? Uh, yeah, you can just use the scanner's rating times two. Okay, cool. Is the lock on the corp store a booper? Yeah, it's a mag lock booper. As in, like RFID, not a keypad, correct? Uh, like a like they have those things on their belts that they pull off and they put in front of the little box thing and it yeah. goes boop and then lets them in yeah that's radio so you will notice that the the gurney does have a RFID tag um, alright I'm going to use my uh, eraser sure. on it the poor property of or I'm sorry not property of but a return to morgue RFID tag has been destroyed. They're cheap. They'll live. Yeah. <laughs> but it's like, no. <laughs> no, they won't. <laughs> uh, and uh, I'm going to set up the gurney. Sure. Do you have any kind of medical um, knowledge? No. Uh, sure. I'm not going to make you roll for it. It's just like a, a very funny picture <laughs> of you like, how to... He's got a reasonable logic score. I mean, it's not like he's putting together IKEA furniture. <laughs> I see what you hey yo. I guess I'm going to have it. Um. Well, my question is: Is it? Well, I got to put three marks on the host in order to get it to like erase that one mark on me. No, so, uh -oh. you so that's just... not good. No, no, you just use an action to wipe the mark, right? Yeah, no, but it says I have to have three marks in order to erase a mark. Oh. And it says it's an attack action. Or it's limited by my attack attribute anyway. So I'm assuming that means it's loud, doesn't it? Yes. Uh, attack actions are loud. So I can either live with a mark for a little while, or... So... For for clarity's sake, failing the sleaze action alerts the host and puts a mark on you. You cannot hide from something that has marked you. Yeah. So for now, there is no reason to run silent anymore, I guess. Correct. Oh, which means I should just do what I gotta do quickly and get the hell out. Yep. So do I see the uh, security vehicle behaving any different? Not for the moment. But this is all like, you know, in a, oh, yeah, that's in a TV show, second. you see them like scanning the thing and then they start setting it up and then you see however they arrange for, um, to do their matrix special effects. You see that going on in like a, uh, uh, like a picture in picture situation. And then that kind of slides up to the area and then it slides down another picture where it shows the, um, security vehicle that's driving around. But it's still kind of going slowly for the moment because this is all at the same time. <clears throat> That's a picture. Dramatic as hell. Don't I? I didn't know she put the uh, initial order up there. You guys down in the basement will hear a satisfying kathunk as the, the door unlocks. Okay, are we updated on the fact that we might need to move a little faster? Uh, yes. Good grief, yes. <laughs> okay. You're told, get the corpse sickle and run. Okay. On it. 
I start the car just in case. Okay. The car is the car is ready to rock and roll. Um, Hex or Sue, are you guys doing anything out in the car? I'm just keeping an eye out. Okay. Oh, Hex, you're such. Uh, shall we say, lack of faith. Well, I mean, I figure I should just have that up there just in case things get nasty. <laughs> That's a nice um, score, by the way. Rod, what are we supposed to be doing here? I think we're supposed to be... Oh. Uh, I think we're supposed to be just waiting for them to come out. No. Uh, I mean, not exactly. When the security drives up to us and asks us what we're doing here, what are we supposed to be doing here? Well, preferably, I would probably... It's like one security vehicle, right? Uh, so the next time they get around, I would probably start and like drive away from them. <laughs> just, you know, play hide and seek yeah, that's a for good. a little we, while. We could just... Go around in circles. Since or get I ready to BS your way out of this. Since so. you're good at BSing, so it could... To... Is having to talk our way out of this. I kind of wanted to know. Yeah. I'd say trying to evade security is going to look a lot more suspicious. Yeah. So you what are we doing here, Roth, that's not a shadow run? Like um, what? So, Hex, are you just going to bail out of the Matrix? Um, we need you editing those cameras, yo. Cameras up. Yeah. Things aren't even getting dicey yet. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> My slightest slightest sign do... of resistance and you fold? Come on now. now. I will do something nice. I won't bolt yet, but I will do something nice. Okay. Something I've probably been doing first. I'm going to call my um, my crack sprite. I named him Spoofer. I'm going to call him up. Are you calling him me. up inside the host or outside the host? Because you can be in uh, either position right now. Like, I'm assuming could... I'm call him up inside the host because that may be where I need it. Sure. And can I call Splinter my fault sprite? All right, can I call go him ahead and roll initiative for him? For one of them, both of them. So, um, calling a sprite is a simple action, and giving it an order is a simple action. So you could either call up two sprites and have them be hanging around, or you could call up one and give it an order. I'm going to call up two right now, just in case, because I'm not sure which one I might need. Sure. Splinter, what's the other one? Uh, Splinter and Spoofer. Spoofer is my crack sprite. Yes, I went through and named my sprites, guys. That's fine. That's cool. I named my drones, man. Yeah, and so we'll deal with their initiatives right. when it comes down to them. Uh, inside the host, you're going to see a... Um, I guess more of like a secretary kind of walk over to you. It doesn't have like an actual face, more of just like a, a light emitting from it. Uh, it's going to more or less... You know when... Uh, you're playing a game online and it lags and they like are running in space and they go whoosh and they're all of a sudden right on top of you. Yeah. Yep, so uh, this secretary ice is going to pop up and just kind of like loom at you. <laughs> when you stare to the abyss, don't flinch. <laughs> um, and then you're going to see a, a disorderly begin to spawn. Mm, that's not a good sign. Uh, it's a white jacket, little billy club, no face, and he's just like, you see him materializing kind of in front of you. Um, we're back around to you. Um... Um, am I in deep crap yet? Like, am I getting the indication that this is fixing to get, like, nasty? Uh, so you, 
you are a creature of the Matrix. The the nurse secretary looking thing is probably just Patrol Ice, whose job is to kind of look around and make sure nothing shenanigans he goes on. Uh, the other one could be there to do any number of things. It could potentially try to link lock you. It could potentially just try to whoop on you. Um, Would a Matrix Perception help with that? Uh, yeah, I guess. So, like, you can automatically spot icons that are uh, not running silent, and this guy is obviously not running silent because he's um, he is here in front of you, and you can see him in front of you. Yeah, what I'm asking is, would running silent give me any extra, or would Matrix Perception, I mean, give me any extra information like this, I would say, like, to help me ascertain more so, like, what kind of tools or loadouts it might have or something? Uh, you could probably just get the kind of ice that he is off, like, just a, a free Matrix Perception. Okay. That's what I was kind of wondering. No, you that can just... Nice. He's not running silent, so it's not opposed, so you automatically spot icons that are not running silent within a, you know, a thing. Um, so he is a marker ice. His, uh... All right, is that the one? No, I'm sorry, he is probe ice. Do you have any kind of, like, security, uh... Matrix security stuff that you might know. Um, you could I roll, do. You could roll your matrix threats. Like I say I do have some knowledge still, like matrix threat. Um, let's see, and I have general matrix knowledge as well. Yeah, the matrix threats all work in this situation. Are you trying to say he's threatening? I mean, do you feel threatened by him? Uh, yes. Okay. Because I don't think line would help me. Sure. Uh, he is he is probe ice. His job is to get more marks on you. That sounds kind of horrible. Well, we need you to hold it out as long as you can. Worst comes to worst, focus on the ho the host, not the ice. Because if you can get three hits on the host, then you can, you know, disappear. But for now, you know. Um, that's scary, but that means I'm not um, super dead yet. So, like, that's a good thing. So I like not being super dead. Man, I should have taken my crack sprite with me to begin with. He could have delayed the launch of it by two combat turns. Well, he got to your successes. Yep. <laughs> I don't get to resist it either, do I? Bams? I was muted like a jackass. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, you get to roll your intuition plus firewall. And since the probing is an attack action, he can take damage on the on the backlash. Oh well. Yeah, so you get to do free damage to him. I get to do free damage to him. Mm -hmm. Um. Intuition Firewall. Intuition Firewall. 
or intuition of willpower in the case of you being a gross technomancer. <laughs> technomancy is not gross. It's a very natural thing. Uh, it's quite possibly the most opposite of a very natural thing. You said intuition plus willpower is ten dice. So intuition plus firewall. Well, it should the be willpower. The control rig is the implant. The RCC is the briefcase-sized piece of technology. To answer and it doesn't have to be, like, obvious in the van. It could just be, like, a tape deck or something. I mean, it's the okay. size of a briefcase. Right? So. so if somebody mm -hmm. looks at the van, they can't obviously tell that it's a rigger van. I mean, they can see matrix perception and see that there's a RCC running there. Uh, yeah, I think like it's more about they they cannot see that the van has a rigor interface, but they can see I'm using an RCC since it's hard to hide. Do you need to be using it? Can we just hide it and turn it off and uh, turn it off with all my drones sort of doing autopilot without any autosofts? Um, and shit. are we using them for anything? Can you call them back? Put it well, under the seat. There's the fly spy and stuff. It's it's not it's not the physical visibility that we're talking about now. It's the matrix visibility. Oh, I, it's running silent, but you know that's the okay. most I can do. Okay. Hey, don't worry about the matrix. I think they're. <laughs> I think I think they're going to be kind of uh, hot and bothered for a minute. <laughs> uh, Hex, we are back to you at the top of the initiative. <laughs> um. By the way, go Hex, go Hex. You got this. Electron Storm sounds kind of nice. I mean, I don't know what that does on top of my head. Um, my it kills... Alt Sprite Splinter gets to roll Cyber Combat plus Resonance, limited by the attack versus Intuition oh, it's plus Fire. Yeah, it's my Sprite powers, so I'd have to tell him to do it. Uh, if successful, it's, hail it's swallowed in a hail of pulse signals and stuff. The first successful attack on each subsequent action the sprite performs while sustaining this power and inflicts resonance, DV matrix damage resisted as normal. The engulfing pulse also causes two points of noise to the target if the sprite makes any matrix damage. All of the electron storms, if the sprite takes any matrix damage, all the electron storms end immediately. Okay. Gotcha. Is that what you wish to tell it to do? Yes, on the one trying to like mark the hell out of me. Sure. Do you want to go ahead and roll your uh, the your smartest sprites, idea? Uh, your sprites initiative, and we'll see what happens. Will him attacking like this increase the host's awareness of him? The host is already aware. It's kind of hard to get more aware. Okay. Yeah, there's sort of like kind of place extra marks. That's not a good thing. Yeah. It's like um, pulling the fire alarm is one thing. Pulling a second fire alarm doesn't really do a whole lot. <laughs> no, I got you. I just didn't know if it would call in more ice as it notices more stuff yeah. going on or what. So, yeah. like, I'm going to send a quick message. Is that a free action for me? Yeah, as long as it's not super in-depth. Uh... So I'm going to be like, as soon as you get out, let me know. <laughs> sure, and you send a... Uh, you spend a simple action to command your your sprite to do its thing? Yes. Uh, what am I rolling for the sprite's initiative? Is it just the... Uh, it's like level times two plus um, plus forty six. Um. Uh. So, what are we doing if security actually shows up and they are still inside? Do we fight them? Um. No, we don't fight them. I've got it. We run. Uh, we yeah. run like hell. Okay, but no, I, no if, if if security shows up, they're going to be suddenly overcome with the thought that they should show elsewhere. Okay, oh, I'm sorry, but a little bit wrong. It should be six. I'm not talking about the uh, lone security car. I'm talking about the uh, more security. We're not going to leave our friends here. If we can to get them to go away, then we'll get them to go away. If we have to fight them, then we'll knock them out. Well, okay, if you say so. If I have to knock you out first to make that happen, I'll do that too. Let's just take things as they come right now. That sounds good. 
Uh, after the electron storm is uh, resolved, can we switch back to yep. Dante and I? Yeah, cool. that's just me rolling initiative for my... Which one is that? Splinter. Okay, what are you doing with your other simple? Um... I don't think Spoofer can do a whole lot for me since we're fixing to start combat. He's I don't even think he has to start combat. Yes. He has computer, electronic warfare, and hacking. As you can, expression, you can suppress the host if you wish. And that'll keep me from launching another ice next turn. That's true. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have him use his suppression Right, so oh, the bad news is is the probe I, the probulator gets the probulate. Man, the probulator is not good. No, it's not. And that's the twenty one is the initiative for the spoofer. And then, um, if you want to go ahead and roll out the Electron Storm. Uh, can he do that now? Yeah. Because it'll come down to, like, he's at 23. Yes. Are we on that order? Yeah. Okay. Then yes, if I can. So let's see. I'm rolling... I think it's level times two. Eight, six. It should be. Because, like, sprites are simple like that. Yeah, it's kind of nice. I know. I was like, what? Oh, oh, wait. Level times two? Yeah. And it's going to be resisted with intuition plus firewall. Mm hmm. So hit me with your best shot. Yes, Miss Benatar. The, the best one, Hex. Nice. Uh, that was a mediocre shot. Oh, that was a horrible shot. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. It is, it is not storming in here. Uh, cutting back downstairs. Quick question. Uh, Rot, can you scan the airwaves? Uh, electronic warfare? Yeah, just like, you know, for in case there are SWAT vans rolling up, I'd like... Okay, uh, uh, BAMS, is it like a electronic warfare plus my rig if I'm in the car? Can I, like, jump into the car to do that? So, like... I'm radio sure signal frequency. Uh, radio signal frequency scanner something something. So this is, this is the future? Where things are, like cell phones and stuff, less re less radio things. Okay. Uh, so okay. I, I guess Hex should do it. Hex could try and do uh, it. Hex? Yeah, Easy. let's leave Hex to do it. Yeah, I know. Thing. That's that's what I'm saying. I cannot exactly uh, listen in to what they're saying. You would need, like, marks on their stuff, and uh, there's actually, like, the snoop action, which is very specifically to do what you are asking. Okay. So, Could I uh, get my endoscope around the weatherproofing on the door? Door's unlocked. Oh. I know, but I want to see what's inside before I open it. Sure. You want to go ahead and roll a little perception test. We'll see how much you can see on the inside of the door. Uh, so inside the door is a big open area. There's a uh, a table off on one side with some set of like drawers next to it, and it looks like some lights that are coming up over the top and that kind of stuff along the back wall. It looks like lockers, but uh, you can't get a lot of detail out of them 
and over on the other side it looks like there is some kind of humanoid-ish drone. Fun times. All right. I am going to uh, ready my Guardian with Stick and Shock in it. Okay. And take the uh, uh, Gurney. You Dante, you set? Yeah, I'm going to make sure that my uh, Fischetti is loaded with the Stick and Shock and then open the door and walk in. You guys are inside a morgue. Okay, I'm going to uh, do a perception check on the wall on the uh, slab lockers to see if there's like, are there any name tags there? Mm -mm. It's Dang also it. kind of digital barcode on like a little slip, like a an RFID tag that they stick in there. Um. Hex, I know you're a little overloaded, mm -hmm. but uh, if you have the chance, could you try and give us a hand with that? With In the meantime, do we have a picture of uh, Dr. Gladstone? Uh, yeah, we can say you guys got a picture. Like they had a uh, a couple of years ago, they had maybe a picture from when he was doing some kind of presentation or something that they put in the. Uh, the news article about it is passing. Yeah. Okay. Um, so what would we roll to see how quickly we can go through the slabs? Assuming they're not locked. Oh, they are, of course, locked. Because, you know... <sighs> they are uh, all kinds of wonderful things that you could do if you had, you know, samples of people. Okay, you know what? I am going to look around. You said that there's like a desk? There's a uh, there's a small desk with some drawers in it that is next to the big table that is very obviously used for for autopsies or cleaning or that kind of thing. And then there's the, the drone over in the corner. Okay. You, you uh, could attempt to I'm going... chop the doors. And I would probably fail. Uh, <laughs> can I... Dante, unless you have like the ability to do any sort of lock picking or prying open? Well, it depends on how they're locked. I'm assuming magnetically. Maybe you guys can use the drone. Um, I don't want to get any more attention than we need to. Can we look through the desk, see if there's like a card to open up the... Sure. Uh, you guys want to give me a... Uh... A touch-based perception test as you kind of like, or a search-based perception test as you guys kind of look around the place. And then I'll ask Hex to roll initiative again. <clears throat> that was awful close to a glitch. That that would have made things more exciting. Almost isn't good enough. You go right back and try and glitch again. <laughs> Truth. So how were the lockers locked? Um, there's gonna be little mag locks. I mean, your your fly spy down there right now is set up in a position where it can watch the elevator and the door that they're in, so like it sees everything that has been has been going on. Okay, so can I like specifically uh, aim the laser scanner microphone at the elevator door to notice when they're moving? Sure. You know, like pick up vibrations and such. Absolutely. I will alert you if there are people coming down the elevator or the elevator begins to move. Which okay, thanks. I guess technically it would probably would have done after you, uh, after you got off it like a couple of seconds go by because I feel like elevators always go back to like the. Mm -hmm. They the should. Neutral floor. Would there be any way of noticing 
which direction it would be going. Well, there are no more downs for it to go. Yeah, but I mean, like, if it's going down. Yeah, like, it it probably went back up to the first or the second floor, wherever it's set for its neutral. So if it starts Isn't coming down again... Isn't indicator? What's that? Isn't there usually a readout that says what floor the elevator's on? Yeah, it probably would be an AR. Okay. Um... But like when it starts coming down again, your your fly spy should pr be able to pick up the the noise and the vibrations that it makes because elevators are not quiet. Sure, great. Um, Hex, you want to roll that initiative there, uh, good buddy? No, I don't. Because bad things happen. I mean, you don't have to. I can just keep probulating. I'm, I'm okay. Now, with that. Is that just normal? Yeah, no, I don't like probulating. It's just a normal, another normal like matrix initiative or whatever. Yep, for you and for your sprites. Probulating sucks. Probulating very much so. I rolled good though. Not eighty six, eight d six plus four d six. Eight plus four d six. Wow, that's nice. He's not going to be able to do anything, but Splinter can go fast this time. And let's do Splinter. Wow, you're kind of good. It's almost like Matrix is your thing. Almost. but uh... Almost. Wait, if I was better, I wouldn't have had this situation happen in the first place. So, um... I'm going to assume that your sprites are going to go ahead and keep trying to do the thing that they are told to do. Uh, that's probably a good idea. So I need to roll... 8 dice. For the... Electron Storm. Uh, 4 hits. 4 is pretty good. Mm, not good enough. No! <laughs> Damn, you mm. nice pants. Sorry. Get good. Like some some evil infernal pack you have made. I mean, nah. <laughs> uh, I'm calling bug spirit. <laughs> You've already suppressed, so we can move past the suppressing, and then it is on to you. Um. So, is there a difference between attacking the probulator and attacking the host? Attacking the host isn't going to do a whole lot for you. Hosts, okay. like, don't have condition monitors. They kind of ignore all the matrix rules. Okay. They don't care. Okay, so if I do attack the probulator, that stops him from probulating. Eventually, yes, it will stop him from probulating if you kill him. But Hex, can you, can you like, become the host? That would be nice. <laughs> um... Uh, if I initiate enough, possibly. Once the host is off his suppression, though, it can just respawn the probulator again, though. Yeah, that I know. I'm just trying to buy a couple of turns to get them at least, you know, through that last, through that uh, biomed door. That's my hope. We're through the door. Oh. We just need help with the, uh, or possibly we need help with the... Uh, yeah, we need to find one. out which locker the guy's in and then need you to unlock it. So, if you're spending all your time trying to kill the probulator, you're not doing that. No, or not. assuming we find a card, we just need to know which one it's in. Bams, what is what type of drone is in that room with them? Is it like something that helps get the bodies out and move them around, or at the moment, unless somebody down there has some kind of related knowledge skill, it looks just like a. It is person shaped, but its actual function. <laughs> You guys uh, don't really know. Uh, they didn't relay the that info, right? So uh, I mean, I have drone knowledge. I could try, but I mean, just assume that we are relaying this stuff. Yeah, go ahead and roll it, and we'll see what you can figure out. Okay, so drones is like professional knowledge for me, or what? Uh, it's up to you. Because that, uh, okay. Like a professional knowledge would give you a um. 
14 with my logic and su and such. It would also give you like more of like a usage and its schematics, like that kind of thing, and where an interest would would also give you usage, but it would also like not tell you as much as far as the the technical aspects of it. Is this okay. Rot's job? We're about to find out how good he is at this job. I mean, maybe. Oh, man. So Pretty good. Throwing together the things that you know, like where it is and that kind of stuff this is a a medical assistance drone of some kind it likely <clears throat> does a lot of the heavy lifting in here um moving bodies around that kind of thing <clears throat> it probably also has like some uh medicine auto soft so that like if they're doing an autopsy or something it can support the doctor doing its thing rather than like um just kind of being around it also probably has a rigor interface that you could uh you could jump into and do medical things with it if you had medical skills like it was like oh shit you know we have a, a specialist that wants to take a look at this body specialist maybe has a control rig or controls it via vr uh, okay so uh, at the moment it's kind of useless so i mean there's no way to interact with it in any way well if it's for moving bodies around, it has to have a way of opening the locker. So it might have some an RFID chip in its palm or something that'll bypass the mag lock. So at the very least, you should jump in and poke around. Wait, would can I be, jump in? <coughs> you would need three marks on it to jump into it. Never mind. Exactly. Um, but the, uh, the drone is likely slave to the host and inside the host, probably in like a, a standby mode. So theoretically, um, Hex could do stuff to it. Uh, can't you just guys try to uh, look with some kind of like an RFID scanner to check this theory? Certainly can. Then chop off the hand or what? Can we get the results of w if of we found anything in the test. desk? Yeah. A bunch of medical stuff, no FR RFID tags, no uh, skeleton key, no ID badge, that kind of thing. Okay. Now, like, are these coolers actually locked, or are they just, like... They are locked. Oh, that sucks. You gotta keep them cold, bro. Is there any information about uh, correlating their corpse ID numbers to names? Uh, do you have some kind of uh, code-breaking knowledge skill to look at a bunch of numbers on a barcode and figure it out. I just didn't know if they would have some kind, like a clipboard with it on or the nah. equivalent uh, in HIPAA 70 is years. A, is a very particular thing about what you can and cannot have access to easily. Yeah. So you, Hex, you were spoofing the um mm -hmm. the locks on the doors downstairs? Um, the locks for the morgue so they can get into their thing. Okay. Uh, can you go ahead and roll me edge real quick? Because they're just kind of like numbered mm -hmm. and don't have any details about them, about which one it is. So let's see if you can uh, <laughs> spin the wheel and get the right one at the... the so he's not time. able to just pop all of them. <sighs> uh, over time he would be able to pop all of them, but he doesn't have fork and... Yeah. Um, each one is its own specific device. Yeah. Time is not my friend right now. So you guys will hear a thunk as one of the doors opens. Um, pulling it out, you will see that it is a young lady. Can you just find out which number correlates? We can get one of them open. I can, but I believe that may have been my uh, action for this combat pass. Yep, because here comes the probulator. <laughs> no! <laughs> and it was wasted. I mean, if it makes you feel any better, you're not very probulated. 
Do I resist that or something? Yep. Oh yes, resist the probing. It's a uh, firewall intuition. Always good advice. Firewall intuition. Mm -hmm. So if I understand correctly, you guys have problems opening the doors. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait, go probe. Good news, you have not been probed. Uh, coming back up to the top, if your sprite wants to try and engulf this thing again. Does his cracker have anything that can help with this? As far as hacking these door locks? Yeah. If he, he wants this could... one, a simple action to, to give it a command. Yeah, he could. Now, can he still be, like, holding that uh, suppress su suppression on and search for the other stuff? Yeah. Um, the suppression's just like a boom, done. I don't think it's actually a sustained power. Let me check. Oh, is it? Okay, I don't... I couldn't, uh... don't have it loaded. I couldn't tell you. I was asking. I think it's, a. Uh, I no, thought it was it just a says that, power. You know, it uses the power. The host gets screwed for two turns. Oh. Well, that's awesome, then. Yeah. Can I have him go look for the file? Sure, if you want to spend a, uh... A simple action on your turn telling him to do that. Um, I'd like to if I can help it. Sure. Uh, you want to roll his like computer plus intuition, probably double his level. Oh. Sadly, a singular eight is not going to do it. <laughs> what do you mean? Eight successes isn't he enough? Uh, you rolled an eight. You didn't roll eight successes. You literally rolled a d8. <laughs> I didn't even yeah, roll no. an eight. There's... <laughs> you just rolled eight. <laughs> Alright, so you sent it to do what, exactly? To try and like find the door, because apparently I need that to be done first before I can you know, open it, right? So you need to find out which door in the morgue is the one that you are looking for? Yes. So you need to find, like, some kind of patient log or morgue log or something like that? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> so he will he will take a moment and he will go looking for that um, do you want to do anything with your other simple action that you have available to you? Um, apart from ordering my sprites, what other things would be considered simple? Uh, you could send an action. You could change, I believe, change your interface mode if you wanted to get out of hot sim. You cut out. Um, I'm sorry. You could, uh, I believe, change your interface mode so you could go to AR if you wanted to. Uh, you could tell your other sprite to do something. If you had another sprite, you could compile, uh, call that one up. I have another one, but I think it's another cracked sprite. What's your point? I don't know that that would do a whole lot. I mean, you could, sure. let, you could just let it go. Letting it go feels bad. I'm making a shrugging motion at you now. I'm sorry, I can't. You can use the other sprite's powers as well. I have two sprites. One keeps trying to use an electron storm power, and the other one is already suppressing the host. You told the one that was suppressing the host to, uh, to go looking for that thing. That's true. And it is looking so for I that thing. I guess I'll call up Slither. I love that movie. And I mean, there's nothing else you guys can do downstairs to sort of uh, just maybe... I don't want to... I didn't want to interrupt the flow of Hex's war. Yeah, I know, but like... Uh, is there anything you can do? We can start shooting at the lockers. I hope we break a lock and open it. 
I mean, you could start lockpicking oh, stuff if you wanted. Probulating or Yeah, if you want to resist your probulation. Bamps, is the uh, drone on a dolly or something, or is it a walker? It's a. It's like an anthro drone. It's like a dude. Yeah. Okay. I'll hit it with a tag scanner sure. just to see if there is anything on the drone. You want to go ahead and roll uh, two times its device rating or like your electronic warfare skill? Those three successes, I thought I was screwed for a second. Nah, you're good. You did not get probed. As a matter of fact, I like super anti-probed. Oh, is he still taking damage for these backlashes? Some of them. All right, so you will, just uh, you will indeed find that inside of its right palm there is a RFID thing. Is it movable? Like the drone? Uh, how strong are you? Uh, four, I believe, with augments. Yeah, what's your uh, what's your left uh, strength plus body? Mine would be seven. Yeah, I could probably do this. Jet can move it. Yeah, with the two of you guys, you can easily move this thing around and kind of kind of fight with it. It'll take you a little bit of time. So if you want to, <clears throat> we'll have uh, Dante roll his body plus strength, and those hits will give over to um, Jet to roll body plus strength just to have an idea on how quickly you can manipulate this drone. Okay. Helping hands, a helping hand. Okay. You right there, Hex? You seem a little, uh, I just... need you to get the number of the I mean we can just unlock all of them but that'll take longer well that's what, the, that's what this roll was for with 7 hits man you guys are weakened at Bernie's this drone gotcha <laughs> um, Hex I love you but you gotta work on your cruel resolve man <laughs> um, so downstairs in the basement we have these two guys kind of like frag it and you just kind of get underneath the arms of the drone and lift it up and start manhandling it a little bit. Hex is probably meat sack has begun to, to sweat some bullets. And, uh... <laughs> Rot, are you VR as well, or are you... Earled. Uh, no, I'm actually, I think I'm AR, sort okay. of, you know, watching around and looking at the feed. Sure, and we have this moment where Sue and Rot kind of look at each other as they see the security van that they were tracking begin to turn around. And we take a break. <laughs>